Okay, so what we're doing here is we're putting together the plastic for the top of the greenhouse. Uh, one of the problems is that for uh, a greenhouse, you need something like 20 foot wide plastic. And you just can't buy that in the local hardware stores. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting together something that will both fasten it to the frame of the greenhouse and will also allow me to take those 50 foot by 10 foot widths and drape it over the entire greenhouse. So what I've got here, you can use something else. I've just used one by two. Uh, it's like a dollar for an eight foot length. You could use two by two. You could uh, use uh, uh, that uh, conduit tubing if you wanted. But I like this because it's got a flat edge that I can screw into easily. I've uh, put a tiny little uh, joint there at the bottom. So this is now just a little bit under 12 foot long. And the reason I want it a little bit shorter than 12 feet is I actually don't want it going all the way to the two edge pieces. I want to fasten it on all the intermediary pieces. And then I want to be able to do a nice um, fastening around the ends of the greenhouse, depending on how I want to finish that in. So I've, uh, well, there's pictures of us cutting up this plastic. I've taken the long, the 10 foot width, and a five foot width, and starting at this end, I'm just going to staple all the way down. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of play right there by that, uh, that hinge, because then when I go to take this down, I can close that hinge, roll the plastic up around this thing, and I'm good for uh, the next season when I want to pull it out and uh, protect my crops. I finally got around to fully enclosing my greenhouse, and it's awesome. It's just uh, simple plastic and uh, EMT, but it's 55 degrees outside today, really warm for January 1st, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's 83 degrees in here in the, in the greenhouse. So over here I've got no plants but I've got my floating raft system set up and my daughter worked with me yesterday to start a bunch of plants to go in there. Over on this side, I've got my banana plant and a whole lot of grow bed with nothing in it except for this uh, strawberry. Then over on this side, we've got rosemary that's going crazy. We really ought to bake some stuff with it. And again, a couple of uh, strawberry plants. And back there is another banana plant. And then here, the strawberries have taken over. I've got a beet that I didn't end up harvesting, and I just come out and nip on the leaves from time to time. I think that's it. So, what I want to show you next is how I enclose the greenhouse. So, on this end, you're seeing the inside of uh, what I did. I created a barn type of sh shape out of 2 by 3 and then I just used one, what are these called? Single hole, one hole connectors, whatever, to connect the EMT to that with the plastic. And you can do that but it's kind of awkward. We'll just keep going around the perimeter like that. Now on the other side, what I've done is I've taken, this is a one by one, and it turns out that if you use a three quarter inch two hold clamp, I think they're called, you can bend it around to fasten on either side of the wood, like that. So I've just got a straight length of wood, and on each side I've pulled the plastic around and stapled it. I used uh, two different things. One is a staple gun, a light duty staple gun, and then the other one was a regular stapler that um, it's a particularly powerful one though. So it's just simply stapled on. And then in each corner I've got uh, a piece of wood that again I've stapled the two piece, bits of, uh, 
of plastic to the one coming along the side and the other one. And that's done it. So here we have the uh, the outside and I didn't bother trimming the plastic, I just left it in place. Although I could have trimmed it if I wanted to. Now I'm going to install the door, but in the meantime what I've got here, let me flip that if I can, shoot video and flip it at the same time. So I've got to wait so this will tend to come back in. And on the other side, I've got a piece of plastic with a little hole so that I can have it move in or not, as the case may be. You see right now my greenhouse is full of all the stuff that I've been using to build things. Now on this side of my yard, I made a little shed to kind of demonstrate to myself some ideas about how to make these things. Uh, so down at the bottom for this one, I just used um, whatever they call that kind of timber. It's like for landscaping. And I drilled holes to accept the EMT. And then I attached the wood at the bottom with angle irons. And on this one I have a cross brace, because a lot of times you'll find you don't really need the sun coming in through that lower part, um, so you could attach whatever. The other thing I wanted to show here is how I've used, in this case, um, split hose to serve as the clamps for the plastic coming across here. And this just serves to keep stuff dry and so people can see construction. Over here I have the beginning of my solar heater. So the idea here is it's uh, angled at 45 degrees to catch the sun and uh, when I'm done with it I'm going to probably hoist it up on uh, cinder blocks or something so it actually catches the sun not only at midday but also a few hours on either side of midday. So this is going to be insulated with some fiberglass I have in the greenhouse right now. Then I'll put, uh, huh, these got blown over by the wind. I've painted one side of these black. I'll put those in. Then I'll put in soda cans painted black. And I also plan to put in some piping so that I can heat up water. I gotta ha figure out how to do that because there's gonna be days when I don't actually want to heat up the water, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn that on and off. But I think I can figure that out pretty well. Got my solar panels here, uh, and then over here the beginnings of my rocket mass heater. So it's a 55-gallon drum which I've burned out somewhere. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to get it all painted at the same time which I would highly recommend because now I'm going to have to take all the rust off and then paint it with high temperature paint. And so it turns out with the little bricks underneath, I've got a bit of six inch insulated pipe that I'm going to have a J going into. And then on the other side, haha, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a, um, another bit of ducting that'll take the hot air out. And what I used to cut the bottom, the circle to accept the um, chimney part and the rectangle for the other part, I used a angle grinder. So that was fun, lots of sparks. Uh, and uh, the, the nice thing is I'll now be able to, once I have this installed, if I want to move it, I'll be able to move it and I won't have to be chipping apart a bunch of cob. So that's my status. Lots of things in progress. Stuff isn't done. But uh, I wanted to shoot this video. Partly because it's just so cool that it's 83 degrees in there when it's 55 degrees outside. Talk to you later. Bye.